Hi, Carlinville Public Library Storytime friends. It's me, Miss Nadia, and I have another story time for you, but let's get started with hello. Hello, H-E-L-L-O spells hello. Hello, H-E-L-L-O spells hello. I would like to say hello to you. Let's get started with shapes. Um, hmm, let me look around and see if I see any shapes. Hmm. Oh, what's this shape? Do you remember? Did you say circle? I thought you would know this one. This is, you kind of call it's a ball, but it's also something that's called a globe and this is a globe of our earth and it goes around and around and i'll show you where we are we are right there on the on our world so do you remember how how to remember that it's a circle do you remember the song you ready a circle is a shape that goes round and round, round and round, round and round. A circle is a shape that goes round and round all day long. Good job, guys. Hmm. I looked in this, this, um, in my little, um, container. It's not pretzels, but... It's a bunch of different shapes, and I found these shapes. And this one. Would it help you remember if we count the sides? I'm going to use this one to count the sides on the green. You ready? So we're going to count the sides. Ready? One, two, three sides with one, two, three points. Do you know what shape that is? If you said a triangle, you're right. And the song goes like this. Actually, I'm gonna go get the bigger triangle so you can see it better. <gasps> there it is. A triangle is a shape with three sides, three sides, three sides. A triangle is a shape with three sides. One, two, three. Good job. All right. Hmm. Hmm. Does this kind of look like another shape we know? Hmm. Is it? It's almost, maybe it's still, or these shapes. I found these in that, in that uh, container too. Shall we start by counting the sides so that we're sure that that's the shape that we think it is? I'm gonna take the pink and put it on the purple. Ready? We're gonna go one, two, three, four, four sides with four points. One, two, three, four. And do they look the same? Are the sides the same or different? Let's look. Sometimes if you fold them, well, it's the same this way. Let's go this way. And this way. And then let's see if we can make it. Hmm. Oh, and this way. So, yep, they're all the same size. So, or length. And so it is a square. If you said square, you're right. All right, let me get the big square. A square is a shape with four equal sides. Sides four equal sides, four equal sides. A square is a shape that has four equal sides. One, two, three, four. 
four, four. Good job, guys. Good job. Oh, do you remember these? If you said apples, you're right, apples. And we've got one, two, three, four, and five apples. Way up high, reach up, way up high in the apple tree. Five red apples smiled. Down at me, I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came that big apple. Mmm, mmm, good. Rub your bellies. One, two, three, and four. Way up high in an apple tree. Four red apples smiled down at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came that apple. Mm, mm, good. Three little apples. Oh, wait a minute. I said it wrong. We got to reach up to the apples. Way up high in the apple tree. Three lit red apples smiled down at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came that apple. Mm, mm, good. Two red apples. Way up high in an apple tree, two red apples smiled down at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came that apple. Mm -mm, good. How many's left? Oh my goodness, the last one. Way up high in an apple tree, one lonely red apple smiled down at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came that apple. Mm -mm, good. Way up high in that apple tree. No more apple smiling down at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could. Down came no apples. They're gone for good. Oh no. We'll have to wait till next year. Oh, I have a neat book. And I picked this book out because it's getting to be that time of year when the farmers are going to be out in the field. And it's really neat to watch them from far away. We don't want to be up close because we don't want to get in the way because the farmers can't see us when they're driving their big equipment. But I have a neat book that will help you see them up close so that you don't have to think you have to get close because it's really dangerous to be out by the farm equipment and you always need to have a parent with you if you're going to go look at the tractors. So this is called Tractors Big Machines. And it is written by Katie Kawa, and it is published by Gareth Stevens Publishing. And look at it starts with this red tractor. Red tractor. And look at it even has a table of contents. That just tells us where we can find certain information. And we can just turn to that page like this one. You can find out about a farmer's friend, and that's on page four. Or getting around, page 18. Or tractor games, tw page 22. Or words to know, page 24. Or you can go to the index, and that's on page 24. So let's turn the page, and it says, tractors are used on farms. They pull tools that help farmers. And that's one of those tools. It helps work up the dirt. Let's see what else it says. And tractors pull heavy things. This is why they are slow. 
sometimes you have to wait for them on the highway. And look at, they're pulling that huge, I think it's a cedar. Yep, yeah, it's a plant. Mm -hmm. I know that because each one of these little white boxes is going to hold some seed. And then the seed is going to go into the ground. Tractors use many tools, and one tool is the plow. And that works up the dirt. And a plow has teeth. The teeth dig up the dirt. Look. See these things pull up the dirt into big pie, big chunks, and then this one's gonna this thing with the teeth on it is gonna break up the dirt. They're like little fingers that just break it up. Tractors get ready, get dirt ready for seeds. Plants come from the seeds. See, the seeds are in this bin, and then it goes down. And then it kind of spreads out. This one kind of spreads it. Or they sometimes they call it broadcast. The seed, it kind of just spreads it out. And then there's other kinds. And let's see if it shows you. Nope, it doesn't. There's some that actually just drill it into the soil. So this one says some tractors cut grass, and these are garden tractors. Some of you, if you have a big yard, you might have a garden tractor. My husband has one. It's not very big, but it does the job. And tractors have four wheels. They move well in the dirt. And believe it or not, sometimes they have more than four. But this one has four. Sometimes they'll have like six. Two wheels on the tractor are big. And two wheels on the tractor are small. So remember that when you want to draw a picture of a tractor. You need to have one that's big and then another circle that's small. Oh my goodness, look at this tractor. It's fancy. A tractor pull is a game. Strong tractors win. So they pull a lot of heavy, heavy, heavy weights. And they have special engines so that they can do this. And look at, look at how fancy his paint job is. He's got flames, that's very fancy. And look at, sometimes they go really fast and they're very, very loud. You will want to plug your ears like this because it's so loud, ah! And that's the end and it just shows you the different thing. That's plow. That's the teeth on the plow and the wheels. And that's tractors, and that's this time of year. The tractors are gonna be out and they're gonna take the corn and the soybeans out of the fields. So please stay away and be careful. I don't want anybody to get hurt and stay with your stay with mom and dad. Um, let's see. And along with um, the farmers taking the crops out of the field, it's also called autumn or fall, and that is going to land the official, official first day of fall is September 22nd, and that's next Tuesday. And so I have this nice story for you by Eileen Spinelli, and it's, a, it's called I Know It's Autumn. And it's illustrated by Nancy Hayashi. Isn't that pretty? And look at what are they doing in fall. Yeah, that's why I have you guys count the apples and do the apple rhyme with me. Because it's almost fall and apples need to be picked 
in fall or autumn. So let's read. And it's published by Harper Collins Publishers. Be sure to check out these books as publishers and their authors and illustrators because there's always neat and um, neat and interesting um, activities and other books that you may want to check out. And look at what else they're doing. It's autumn. Mm -hmm. Almost Halloween. Up and look it. And these types of flowers bloom in autumn. Look, it's getting ready. It says, I know it's autumn when the morning light comes late. So sometimes when you wake up, it's still dark out. When there's a pumpkin muffin on my breakfast plate. Raise your hand if you like muffins. I do. When daddy brings my jacket from the storage box and grandpop wears a bathrobe and his slipper socks. Hmm. Have you gotten your jackets out yet? Maybe not, or maybe, because it's pretty chilly in the morning. I know it's autumn when the school bus toots its horn, when we drive past an empty field that once grew corn, when leafy trees turn colors red, gold, and brown. Have you seen any trees that turn, have turned colors yet? I haven't seen very many, but I have seen buses around. And that means it's autumn. And Farmer Freddy brings his harvest to town. That's how you know it's fall. He brought his apples and his pumpkins. I know it's autumn when our class makes acorn art. Look at, that's an interesting idea. I think they're putting them on string or pipe cleaners. The acorns from the trees. Can you see what they look like? Let's see, right here, those are acorns. They, they're like a circle, and then they have the little cap on top. And they come from oak trees. And when there's a turkey sticker on each spelling chart. So she gets a spelling list when she comes home. And her teacher put a turkey on it. When we help Mrs. Martin bake zucchini bread. And yellow mums are blooming in the flower bed. I know the greenhouses and landscape garden centers are selling their mums and so are the FFA clubs. So we know it's autumn. Look at, ooh, we can tell it's autumn there. I know it's autumn when we rake the leaves in piles, when doorstep jack-o'-lanterns wear their crooked smiles. It's autumn. When we go picking apples for mom's apple pie. Have you ever gone apple picking? It's pretty fun. And noisy geese fly south across the evening sky. Can you see them? And they usually say, what did they say? Do you know what geese say? They say honk, 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 honk. I 
I know it's autumn. Ooh, I like these. When the moon is full and bright, when we go on a hayride with our friends at night. Oh, that's always so much fun. And it's kind of spooky, too. It's usually pretty dark out. Ooh, bonfires. When bonfires blaze and the storyteller leaps and claps. It's also a time for festivals with the Native Americans and their culture. Look at, and she's doing a dance that's a Native American. And she has her drum. And then, and all the kids grow sleepy on their daddy's laps. Sweet autumn dreams, everyone. That's the end. Autumn is a time for change. The seasons are changing and they're getting ready for winter. The leaves are changing colors and lots of different food is ready to be picked. So I love autumn. So I've got another song for you. You ready? Can you put your hands up and have your hands go like this? And it goes like this. All the leaves are falling down, falling down, falling down. All the leaves are falling down. It is fall. Take a rake and you rake them up, rake them up, rake them up. All the leaves are falling down. I forgot where I was going with that. Make a pile and jump right in, jump right in, jump right in. Make a pile and jump right in. It is fall. Next time I'll try to make sure I sing it the right way. Sorry. <laughs> I know like three different versions of it and I forgot which one I was going to go with. Anyway, I love that song and we'll probably sing it again next week, okay? I'm going to show you some of the crafts that we that I have for you guys. I'm going to make up some little take-home crafts for you guys, and you can come into the library and pick them up. One is retractors, and I found this. And you can use your uh, favorite color and drive your tractor all along the line. Stay on the line. And then here's another one. Then on the other side, you can practice cutting. And you gotta make sure you check with an adult first. And you're gonna cut out that big, what is it? Did you say rectangle? You're right, it is a rectangle. And then you're gonna cut out this. Did you say square? You're right, it is a square. And then you're gonna cut out this Circle, you are right. You're gonna cut out this circle and this circle to make this tractor. And then I have another one for apples. And you can, you can take this and you can tear up some paper. Look at, I have green. So I'm gonna have kind of a green apple and I glue it on the A, because A is for apples. It goes up, down, and then you go across in the middle. Up, down, across in the middle. And then the lowercase a, you go make a circle, and then you make a little tail. But not too big a one. And that's for apples. And then I got this other cute one. Let me find them. Oh, I put them way over there, of course. So I will be right back. I cut out some, some sheep on cardboard, and then you can wrap them with string. Let me get you an example. I'll be right back, for real. I'm coming back. You ready? Here it comes. There's one. 
there's two sheep. So literally all I did was wrap, wrap, wrap. You can just wrap them up. So I got a little red one and I got a little white one. And that'll be at the library. And that's it. Thank you for sharing story time with me. I miss you guys. Come visit me. Don't forget your mask. Um, I will show you what I look like. So you'll be like, oh yeah, that's Miss Nadia. This is me and my mask. So come on in and check out some books and pick up a craft, okay? Bye guys, have a great week.